what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in today's video i'm going to be walking my good friend shout out to whitney a top producing realtor in the state of washington just crushing it um i'm going to be walking her through you guys step by step installing her facebook pixel on her landing page this is what's super important you guys this is what it's all about so as you go out there and promote your business whether it's real estate whether it's something else these links that you're sending people to make sure you're tracking it okay make sure that you're building an audience making make sure that you're that you're simply what I call filling a bucket. Out of all these clicks that are going on, when whether you're, you're real estate and promoting a, a, a buyer seminar or you're a listing agent and you're promoting a seller guide or you're promoting an open house or a listing, whatever, as people click on your stuff, whatever web page you're taking them to, make sure you're capturing that data, right? And that's what it's all about. So today we're gonna, we're gonna simply take her links, her landing page links, and we're gonna set up some custom audiences inside of Facebook. We're gonna take her thank you page and we're gonna set up what Facebook calls a conversion event. A conversion event is, is simply a quote unquote lead, but a, but a conversion event is also a purchase. A conversion event is also an, a, a confirmed appointment. There's many different conversion events, which I'll show you inside of Facebook, but this is all about the thank you page. So before you run a Facebook ad, that's why Whitney and I were, were getting ready, ready here to, to really set up an ad, publish an ad and really start promoting her, her, her business locally. But I said, Whitney, before we even get there, there's a few things that we actually haven't done. We haven't installed your pixel. We haven't set up custom audiences and we haven't set up her, her, her custom conversion event, um, based on lead. Okay. So I thought you guys get a ton of value out of this today. So if you're running anything online, pay attention, we're going to get started. So now these are our two basic pages, right? So, and that's why you guys, I, I, I swear 99% of you guys that are watching this video right now, whether you're watching it on Facebook and you're a real estate agent or whether you're on YouTube and you're, you, you have some other type of business going on. I truly believe, I truly believe 99.999% of us literally can build multi, multi, six, multi, multi, seven figure, even eight figure businesses with two pages, two pages. It's an opt-in page, a landing page and a thank you page. That's it. So, so in, in Whitney's case, a listing, an open house, a buyer seminar, a buyer guide, a CMA, a seller guide, all of these different ways that we're trying to fish right now on social media, it literally comes down to two pages. Start putting out a landing page, right? So, so today you guys, we got to, and, and this is where all the tracking happens. So now, now that we have these two basic pages, now we just want to track it. So we have the links already at the top, Whitney um, opened up. So we have the we have the landing page. This is our, our basic landing page. We have the thank you page. So as they opt in, they land here. Now what we want to do is we want to go to Facebook and, and we got to get our pixel. So in fact, you have a pixel on that page. Go back to the to the thank you for registering. You have a so so click on your pixel helper there in the top right. You have a pixel on this page. So then you must just not have it on your landing page. Click on that number two. The um yeah, go back, no, go back to the thank you page. So, so these are her two basic, two, two basic pages, right? You guys. So we want to, we want to make sure everything is tracked. Click on that. So what pixel is that? That's pixel um, ending in, I always look at the last four digits, eight, nine, seven, eight. So that's eight, nine, seven, eight. So now let's go to the ads manager and let's see what pixel that is. So click on the three lines to the left and you're going to go to events manager. Give you. Um... Give me what? control of my no screen. no you, you know you're good so hover over that clock to the left that little blue looking circle to the left yeah and then click on data sources so data sources this is where your pixel is at so um click away yeah so so right here eight nine seven eight that's your pixel now here's here's what's super important to to actually you know what i just noticed the settings let me um let me um yeah, let's let, act. Well, I'll get I'll get rid of that here in a second. But here's what's really important to know is the pixel ID number. Now, moving forward, as you again start to really scale your business on social media, as you really scale your business on the internet, right? Which is all of us, everyone watching this video, you guys are all trying to scale your business on the internet. It's really cool and it's really good and it's really simple to just build your entire internet presence around one pixel, and that's your pixel. Right. So some websites moving forward, as you build websites, as you build landing pages, you and I, who knows, we may be working forever. We may not. You may be working with some other person eventually down the line where they're building you a website or they're building you another sales funnel or a landing page, or whatever. Some, no matter what website it is, some websites require just the pixel ID number, which that's it right there in the bottom, right? Right. That's the pixel ID. And I think, I think KV core is like that. I think KV core is like that. 
um, where they just require the pixel ID number. I think Shopify, so if you're selling anything online, I think Shopify only, only asks for the pixel ID number. So you take that number, copy it, paste it into the settings. But with Kartra, it asks for the whole pixel, the whole, um, the whole, the whole code. So to get it, all you do is scroll down right here. So all activity, yeah, right here. So add events, click on that drop down in the middle to the left. Yeah, right, right there. Yeah, add events. And we're gonna go from um from 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 a, from a new website. Yeah, from a new website. From a new website. Install code manually. Copy code. Continue. And then make sure that all of these are turned. You want them all to be blue. So just hit the turn off the the one at the top, the top, and then turn back on. Perfect. And then continue. Okay, cool. And then continue, 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 continue. Yeah, just keep going and then click it again. Perfect. So now um, you have it copied. You have it copied. And I always tell people just to have a have have a backup of it, email it to yourself, right? You can always email it to yourself, um, but you can always go into your Kartra pages for sure to get it there. But you, I, I'd email it to you as well, to myself as well. But go to Kartra and just go into that page. So click the three dots, go into that page. Yeah, go back to Kartra. And you guys, Kartra is what I've been using for years now. And then just three dots, edit, go into, into your, um, I think it's the landing page. Yeah, the landing page, edit and just go in. So Kartra is what I've been using you guys since 2018. I, it, it, it runs my entire business, my landing pages, my email automation, my online calendar, my membership course, it's my affiliate marketing. So they send me a nice little check every single 15th of the month. God bless Kartra. Um, Every 15th of the month, I get a couple grand just for referring and talking about Kartra. So all my clients use it. Um, and, and at the price point for, for the technology, there's nothing like it, man. Hit settings to the left, top left. But if you're not using Kartra, and there's a 14-day trial if you're not using it in the description, but if you're if 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 you're not using it, all your all these softwares are all the same. Yeah, tracking code. And then just come down to the very bottom and paste it at the bottom. So so no matter what platform you're using, click funnels. Kajabi, it's all the same. Just go into the settings and, and tracking and, and paste in that Facebook pixel right there. Okay, cool. So let's just publish live um, and return to dashboard. So that's installing your Facebook pixel, you guys. You have to put your pixel on every page, every website, everything you're trying to freaking promote on social media. You want to have your pixel tracking everything. Okay, so, 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 but that's only step one. That's only step one. Here's step two. Step two is when we now take specific links and we start labeling labeling them, right? We start labeling them inside of the Facebook platform. So this is for you, for those of you that are building businesses and you're and you're trying to scale Facebook or Instagram ads. You got to be tracking everything. Um, so the pixel is just one part of it. So now we're going to go three lines to the top left, and we're going to go to audiences, or you can go to your bookmarks. Everything is around your bookmarks, um, but but everything is on the three lines as well. So here we have open house leads, first time home buyer, first time home buyer intro video people engaged so what we want to do too is we'll set up um let's let's stay focused on these two links so get the get the landing page because i was going to have you set up an audience on that video but we'll do that we'll do that after um so there and then and then double click the link your dot com just double click it so it all opens up yeah there you go you only need your domain so you don't need the www or the https so just take yeah just take the domain so this is what we're doing you guys this is what we're doing we're tracking those who land on certain parts of her page, right? And in, in her case, there's literally two pages. That's it. So here we want to tell Facebook, hit the blue one, create audience. We want to tell Facebook that anyone that lands on this page is simply a page visitor, right? Um, custom audience. And then and then and then here are the different sources real quick. Let me let me speak on this just for one, one, one minute. In your business, Whitney, you're pretty much going to be building custom audiences around website video and and maybe lead form maybe lead form you'll want to test lead form ads as well um we'll do we'll do lead form ads um this year as well um but the other the other sources are all pos possible custom audiences but you you wouldn't really want to focus on anything and your business is going to be website and video so just keep it that simple if you just build audiences around people on your links and then build audiences around those who are watching a percentage of your videos you'll crush it um being a local business and, and just in real estate. Now, if you're running lead form ads, then yeah, creating custom audiences around lead form would be good too. But but really nothing else. The Instagram account, the Facebook page. A lot of people, a lot of my clients are like, David, I have freaking 9,000 people following me on Instagram. I have a pretty good audience. I'm, I'm, I'm crushing it over there. 
right? These are my clients. These are my clients, they, but they just don't know how to run an ad, right? And that's why they're they're coming to me. But 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 organically they do okay, right? I'll have some clients that have nine, ten, eleven thousand, you know, followers. Um, one of my clients has over fifty thousand followers on Instagram. Like, but but it's like, dude, or if you're a local business owner, which my client is, he's a freaking realtor. So because he's only farming a few zip codes, these thousands of people on his Instagram account don't live in the area. They don't even live in the state. So as he's promoting his open house, no one really cares unless they're relocating for sure. People relocate for sure. You deal with military all the time. Everyone's relocating for sure. But if that's not really your demographic or if that's not really your, your avatar or your audience that you're really trying to niche down on, it's like, dude, these are all people that live across the country. So I wouldn't create an, an audience around my Instagram followers, right? Because showing them a, a listing or showing them of, of an open house, it might not be, it might not be worth it. So website video, let's do website. Let's do website. So here, all we're going to do is we're going to label it. We have it copied. We have the landing page link copied. Next. And then so over here, now you're going to just simply, yeah, you always want to make sure your 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 green dot is, is there. That's the active pixel. That's the name of your pixel. Um, so that's the source. And, the, and then the events, hit the drop down, all website visitors, and come down to specific. So you're going to always want to do specific. People who visited specific web pages. And then um, the retention... I, I would normally keep that low, like at 30 or 45 days, but now I'm, now it's like max it out. Like it doesn't even matter. Put 180, 180 is the max. So for 180 days, a person will be in this audience. So if you land on my page today, you're going to be in that audience for 180 days. Right. And, and so next week I'll show you another ad three weeks from now, I'll show you another ad, right? You'll be in that audience for 180 days, which is the max. So now paste in the link right below. Now here's what you want want you, here's what you guys want to do. This is how you really really segment and it's really basic. It's really simple. We're creating an audience and hit the blue. So just hit that that blue drop down. We're creating an audience of those who land on this page only. Right? Who land on the page only. And to do that is you'll want to scroll down a little bit and you'll want to exclude people who've actually landed on the thank you page. Right? So now Get, get your thank you page link um, and just double click. Yeah, always, always open it up and, and just grab that part. Perfect. So we're telling Facebook that that the people that landed here, they're not in this audience, right? If, so if you landed on my thank you page, you are not in this audience. This is only, yeah, hit the drop down, all website, go back to specific. So all you're doing is matching what you did at the top, um, 30 to 180 and yeah, paste paste it in. So, so, so now we're going to give it an audience name scroll down audience name this is this is home buying or whatever whatever you're naming it what what is a home buying seminar or home buying class yeah yeah home buying class home buying class um home buying class page uh visitors only home buying home buying class page visitors yeah home buying home buying class page visitors and only is in parentheses so home buying class page visitors um only like they've only landed here. They have not proceeded. They have not entered their name and email, right? And so now this becomes an audience, create audience. This becomes an audience, Whitney, that you'll always want to retarget and and, and hit done. You'll always want to retarget. And 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 this is like so, so, such an easy way and for me, like an analogy for me to give you. All that, all, the reason why you'll want to continue to target that is, is let me know if you've ever experienced this. You you buy clothes online, right? You buy things online. You buy hair product online. Do you buy stuff online? Yeah, all the time, yeah. What's the last thing you bought online? Glasses. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect example. As you're surfing online and you're Google searching because you're a bargain shopper like I am, I'm like, I'm looking for the best, but I'm looking for the cheapest as well. Like, I'm going to keep it real. Like, if I saw a pair of glasses that were badass and this other pair of glasses were $20 cheaper and they were still badass, I'd probably get the $20 cheaper one. That's just me, right? So as I'm searching and I'm looking at stuff, let's say I come across glasses and I click on the green ones and I'm about to check out, but I'm like, shit, what if I can get it for somewhere else for cheaper? Like, so I, so I leave that website and I freaking go to another website. And then before you know it, I see an ad from that first company that I was at 10 minutes ago, right? Yeah. And, and, and I'm going to keep seeing that ad. So that business, that advertiser, what they want to do is they want to keep showing me more ads. They might show me a 15% off ad next time. They might show me a, a, a another type of, of, of glasses you know, ad. So all they're doing is they're just retargeting, retargeting, retargeting until, until you actually buy it. 
and enter your credit card. So, so let's say, for example, that you see an ad next month and that ad is like, hey, we noticed you were on our page you know, a few weeks ago and you were looking at the green pair of glasses, but for whatever reason you didn't purchase. We want to offer you right now a 20% discount if you click and, 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 and finish your checkout. You click, you check out, you land on a thank you for purchasing page. That's this next mm -hmm. one. So that's your thank you page. So now blue, create, create audience, grab the link, the thank you page. So now as people opt in and they land, hit the create audience. So create audience, go back in custom audience and then website. Now, as they opt in and, and actually I was saying what I was saying about that custom audience. So with that, with that, with that landing page, custom audience that you just created, that's an audience that you'll always want to retarget. That was my point. So just like, just like if I clicked on that red or that, that the green glasses, they will continue to retarget me until I buy or okay. until, or until, or until I just, or, or until that brand is just engraved in my freaking brain, they'll always retarget me. So with that audience of those who click land on the, on the landing page, but for whatever reason, don't opt in, you'll always retarget them. All right. So, so that will be a, a part of your retargeting on, on really ad number two and on when you're, when you're promoting buying. Right. So, so now this, this again, same thing, all website visitors specific retention same thing just so so all you're doing on the website audiences is the same thing specific max that out to 180 paste in that link and now this becomes an audience of those who actually opted in right so scroll down and now you're gonna so no one to exclude audience name um and this is this is this is this but yeah name it the same exactly home buying home buying class leads or home buying class registrants or something like that you know, and, and put that in parentheses, put that. Yes. Yeah. Put that in register. Yeah. Registrants or something like that. All that, but it's just for me. So yeah, <laughs> just for you. It's all good. And so now this can be an audience that you, that you retarget in the future or that you exclude from seeing more ads like this in the future. Okay. Right. Because if you, if they've already opted in, you don't need to keep showing the, these people more ads. Okay. Right. So, so hit create audience. um, And that's your custom audiences. And you know what, while we're at it, while we're here, hit done now let's do one more audience let's do one more audience create audience let's see if that video is up yet so custom audience hit video so now this will be a custom audience you guys on video this is what you want to be doing and that's why it blows my mind again shout out to every top realtor shout out to, to shout out to every business owner um hit engagement go and, and so go down to um go i would do 15 seconds how long is the video i think it's one minute yeah, do 15 seconds. That's good. 15 seconds, hit choose videos. Let's see if it's even there yet. It should be there by now. Hit choose videos. Yeah, get out of the um, Facebook page. Go to your other page. Hopefully it's here. It should be here by now. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. So confirm. But here's what blows my mind, you guys. Everyone's putting out good stuff. So shout out to every top realtor. Shout out to every, shout out to every freaking local business owner. Shout out to those of you that are really, you know, crushing it and successful. But but if, but but this and again, what I'm saying is to the local business owner. Whitney is a local business owner. She's branding herself. She's trying to brand herself locally, right? Is that the goal or is that the dream, Whitney? Or 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 are you building a nationwide brand? I don't even know yet. Are you all lo to, local right now? Right. It's like, dude, that's where that's where we're doing business local. So I can't stress enough, you guys. Start running these simple video ads and tracking those who watch it and create these audiences to retarget these people in the future with more ads. That's it. So rather than posting your video content, cause you're already doing a great job. Everyone's already doing a great job. They're put, they're, they're writing the best text. They're doing video. Everyone's already doing it. But, but what everyone's doing is again, when they're building, when you're building a local business, the thousands of people that are following you on all these damn platforms, they're not in your area. So that cool ass video, that cute video where you're wearing that nice ass outfit. It's like, dude, the, the, the 500 views that you got on it, they're not people in your area. So if you were to just simply do this, Post on the business page first, then then come over here and create the audience, and then now we're going to run an ad on it. But if you can just simply focus on this and spend a few bucks on your video, spend a few bucks a day, two bucks a day, three bucks a day, you can literally. I, I'm going to show you a video right now of a client of mine, uh, Whitney. She's literally mm -hmm. spending two dollars a day. She's spending two dollars a day, and she and and we and and I think she started the ad two days ago, like literally two days ago. Today's Saturday. I think she started it on Thursday. I think she started it on Thursday. And she's had almost a couple thousand views. We'll look at it right now. She's had almost a couple thousand local views. She's spending $2 a day. And I think she spent maybe six bucks by at this point. 
to get a couple yeah. th- um, i think she's almost at a couple we'll look at it right now i think she might I think she might be at almost 1500 views but we'll look at it right now but but those are local views that's my point those are local people so so again you guys i can't stress this enough so name it name it same thing buyers um and then on the videos on the videos you can keep people in this audience those who watched it for 15 seconds um for up to 365 so it's, so so on the website it's 180 and on on video it's 365 so you guys, what we're doing here is we're 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 Whitney is launching, right? She's launching. She's a top producing realtor. She's she's promoting a a buyer event. Um, she focuses in on, she focuses in on the military and VA and really providing a ton of value to to all of our military. So shout out to every everyone of you that that have served um, that are may or may 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 be serving now. Um, Whitney's the one to turn to, man. She's out there in Washington, just crushing it. So home buying class, 15 seconds, create audience. And, and Whitney, I'm going to link your Facebook page right below as well. So I'll, I'll link your Facebook. Um, make sure you like her page. Make sure you follow her. Make sure you support her, you guys. So click on her link right in the description. Hit done. And then, um, and that's it. So that's your, that's your basic website. So any website you create from this point on, a, an open house, a, a, a listing, whatever, those are the two pages that you want to create audiences around. Um and then whatever video you're putting out, create, a, create an audience around that video. So we got the pixel on the page. We have the custom audiences. Now let's do one more thing. Three lines to the left. And now we're going to focus in on the, the thank you page, the actual thank you page. We need to tell Facebook what this thank you page is exactly to, to, to us, right? And, and, and what exactly is it? When people land on that thank you page, they're a lead, right? So we got to tell it to Facebook. So here's how you do it. You three lines and then go to, go to events manager. So events manager, um, and then over here again, this is where you can get your pixel, but but this is where you'll you'll want to um, um, create the event as well. So you have the thank you page. I'm pretty sure you already have you have it copied the link um, to the thank you page. I'm pretty sure you do. So scroll down, and all we're gonna do again, uh, blue little circle to the left, and go to data sources. So everything is in the data sources. You always want to go to the data sources, and then all we're gonna do here is scroll down. And we're going to come down to your ad events. So that drop down right, right there um, where you got your pixel. So remember, your pixel is from a new website, right? Don't click on that. Don't click on that. But that, that's where you get your pixel, from a new website. What we're going to do here is we're going to go from the pixel. So we're going to add events using pixel code is what it said. Um, and then open events setup tool, the blue button. And then right here, you're going to simply paste in your thank you page um, link. Open website. Perfect. And then you'll see a box right here. Actually, is your website, is that website linked? Let's let's look at your Kartra page. Go to your Kartra page real quick. So that is, okay. yeah, so when you're pasting it here, that's what it is. So when you're pasting it here, put the whole thing, HTTPS, perfect. Open website, and then now it'll take you to your page. And then as, as it comes over here, you'll see a box right here in the top left. Perfect. And then all you're going to do here is track a URL, track a URL, track a URL, and then um, hit the drop down. So here, so here's what's going on, you guys. Here's what's going on. So scroll down. There's a ton of them. There's a ton of them. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. These are all what Facebook calls conversion events. So as we're running ads, you guys, 10 out of 10 of you guys, I would, I, yeah, I would assume 10 out of 10 of you guys are building something online where you're either looking for a lead or you're looking for a purchase, right? It's one of those two. It's one of those two in, in, in 99.99% of all of our freaking businesses. I need a lead or I need a freaking purchase or, or you need both, right? But normally those are, th those are the ones. So in this case, you're going to tell Facebook, yeah, those who land on this page are leads, right? So click on lead and then um, don't include value. Yeah, you don't need a value on that. And then just hit confirm. And then all you're going to do is simply finish setup. Click on finish setup. So now... Facebook's going to know, okay, and then finish. Those that land on this page, to click yes or no. Yeah, and don't show again. Those that land on this page are literally a lead. Done. Okay, perfect. That's it, you guys. So what did we what did we just do? We just installed our Facebook Pixel. You can stop share. We just installed our Facebook Pixel. We just created custom audiences around her two basic pages, you guys. Landing page, opt-in page. 
and then we excluded those who actually landed on her her um her thank you page right on on the first on the first custom audience and then we created a custom audience around her video so as you put out video you guys as you're putting out video start targeting your audience start targeting your local area and simply creating audiences around those people 15 seconds 25 percent start creating audiences around those who are watching your video so you can then retarget that's where the branding effect comes from that's all it is as people see you over and over and over and it's not an annoying it's not it's not pe people being getting annoyed by seeing you over and over because that's not what you're putting out you're not putting out freaking an, an annoying type of personality you're a professional, you're a realtor, you're a business owner, you're freaking an entrepreneur, you have a passion in what the hell you're doing. So you're educating people, you're bringing value, you're trying to build an audience, you're not being a prick, right? So so it's not like people are going to get annoyed seeing you, not at all. As you put out good stuff, you guys, as you put out content, as you educate people, that's why I tell my real estate clients all the time, I'm like, dude, you have to break out. You have to just start doing video. You have to understand that you're a professional. You are the licensed professional. So it's damn near, like I, I look at it where it's like, and that's why I'm on video because like in your business, Whitney, I truly believe 100% of the marketplace already put you on a pedestal Yeah, because you, you're, you're licensed. You're like, you are the, you are literally licensed to talk real estate to me. That's true. I don't think it gets any more professional than that. As far as credentials, as far as one being an authority, it's like, shit, you know more about this stuff than damn near 100% of 100% of the, of, of the consumer base in this country. Forget about the world, but in, the, in, the, in this country alone, you, you know more about real estate because you, you're licensed and you practice it. So that's why my point is, is that you guys want to start doing video. It almost comes down to it doesn't matter what the hell you even say in the video. Because you are who you are and you already have the credibility, people are going to believe you. People are going to follow you because it's video. It's magical. People are beca people become indoctrinated where they want to follow you. They want to like you. They want to believe in you. They want to do business with you because it's, it's because they're seeing you in video. It's something magical, man. It's something very, very magical. So so that's what, but, but, but what did we do? Again, the backside, the tech side, what did we do today? We created a custom audience because those that are watching your video, when you're doing it organically, there's no there's no benefit to that. That's why that's why you want to run an ad. You want to target your area so you can start creating these audiences so you can get back in front of people again. Show them another ad. Show them another ad. Show them another ad. And that's all it is with the glasses. I'm gonna click on the green ones. They're gonna show me another ad. Show me another ad. Show me another ad until I buy. And or 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 and, and it's not in an aggressive way because again they could just be educating me educating me and that's where we're at today you guys so personal branding is everything so we got our pixel installed we got our custom audiences and we got our facebook lead conversion you know you know what real quick Whitney, before i before I, I stop this go back share screen let me show you what what to do with this um and in fact you know what you know what you know what let's go straight into it, you guys i was going to end it right here but no we're going to go straight into it we're going to go we're going to go straight into running this damn ad any questions real quick, real quick, Whitney, any, any, oh, any let's do the damn thing. <laughs> yeah. So, so we have our landing pages, you guys, we have our pixel, we have our audiences. We have the, even the video is, is, is already set up for, for a custom audience. Now we're going to go straight in and run a freaking ad. We're going to go straight in. So hit the three lines um, in the top, in the top left, we are literally going to run an ad and start bringing traffic to that page, to that video. Um, and we're going to, we're going to get this damn thing started. So, green button always going to click the green create and now we're going to go straight down to leads that's it leads and then hit continue so step one you guys step one is simply just the campaign level we're going to go through these three levels on the left hand side the top left the campaign the ad set and the ad that's the three tabs that's the three levels very very simple so step one is the campaign level the first level is always just choosing your objective right and in this case it's leads um and then coming over to the second part where in your case, Whitney, because you're real estate, you're going to go categories. So categories, you're going to always, always, always hit the drop down and you're going to go to housing and that's it. Um, and then next, that's it. Nothing else to do there. That's step one. That's the campaign level. You guys, that is it. Now we're on the second step, the ad set level. Um, here, we're going to go website. So we want to generate leads through your website. Um, and now here also, we could have did it on the campaign level, but but we'll go we'll go back there. Um, in fact, click on campaigns in the top left. Click on new leads campaign because I want to get you in the habit of of doing this the right way. You always want to name it at the top. So again, following your 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 whole Kartra labeling of everything. Same thing. Home buyer, home buying class, um, March eleventh, and then and then and then I would put 
video, video. Yeah, perfect. Video, perfect. Um, and then dash leads, dash, dash leads, because leads is the objective. You could have chose traffic. You could have chose engagement. You could have chose um, awareness, but you chose leads, right? So, so perfect. And that's it. And then hit next. So you always want to get in the habit of, of, of giving your titles at the top a, a good detailed description. Um, because if you don't, then you end up finding yourself clicking to see what that what ad that was, clicking to see what I spent when I could have just labeled it, right? So so we'll get in the habit of, of labeling. And then here at the top, new leads ad set, we'll we'll label that after we do what we do at the bottom. Oh. That's that's yeah, we'll 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 name it after. So here, website, and then all we're gonna do is scroll down and then right there, conversion event. You're going to click in that box and click on lead and go back to your um um your thank you page real quick and refresh that page. Sometimes this takes a few minutes. Um, and then click on click on the, the Facebook Pixel Helper. So right here, you guys, again, this is this is your Pixel Helper so, or Meta, Meta, Meta Pixel Helper. It was called Facebook Pixel Helper forever, but now it's Meta Pixel Helper. You guys can Google that install it. it. You can find it at the at the Chrome store. There's one for Mac. There's one for PC. But but there that just sits there. It's a plugin. It's free and it just allows you to track. You know, well well it just allows you to see who's tracking you, right? You could be on any random website and you can click that and you can see their pixel. And none of that's private information, so it's just public. It's all good. Um, but I don't I don't care who's pixeling me. I don't have it for that reason. I just use it to to test our pages and to test my pages. But yeah, so that's there. But in the next few minutes, you'll click on it again and you'll see lead because it's actually um, also we set up the lead conversion event. So, so you'll see that there. Okay, perfect. So you, you refresh the page. We're good there. So now go back to the ad and, and then we're good. So now scroll down. Okay. So now we're going to go budget. So budget 10 bucks a day, keep it simple. No down, down budget, go daily budget. And then to the right. Yeah. Change that out to 10. And then when you're setting up your ads, the start date and end date, when you're, when you're setting up and, and, and real quick, real quick on the $10 real quick, let me explain this real quick because this is like the most common question. And this is what I truly believe. This is, this is, this is one huge reason why I truly believe most don't run ads because most are afraid to spend money. Most don't have the budget or whatever. Right. And let's just keep it real. It's, it's all good. I say this out of, out of respect. Everyone's budget's different, right? Everyone else has shit going on. So it's like, sometimes people don't even have a damn budget, but, but if you do, if you do this is kind of how you just want to look at it, it's like, I always look at it in the simple terms of what I make per deal. And that's why Whitney, like, as we really get the ball rolling, I'm going to just freaking be hard on you. I'm going to, cause I treat you like, I talk to you like you're my sister. Like, I really think we yeah. have, like, I, I really look at you that way. And it's like, I'm going to be hard on you because as we really get things rolling and as your business starts to roll and like, you got deals in the pipeline right now, as you start to close mm -hmm. deals, it's like, dude, put a, put a few hundred aside for Facebook ads, like a few hundred. Like, oh yeah. The, the next ad that we're thousand. running. The next ad we're running, we're probably gonna do like a five hundred a month budget. Just that, get that's all, and, and 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 what's so crazy? What's so crazy is that you could probably stay at that budget and crush your local area on five hundred a yeah. month. So 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 we're talking. It's like okay, I make five grand per deal. I need to be spending at least ten percent on Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. That's it. So whatever you make per deal, you guys, that's how you want to look at it. Like when it comes to my coaching, what, what I'm charging now, what I charge now, Whitney, which I never, which I didn't even bring up to you, like what oh. I charge now for coaching is, 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 is a certain number, right? What I charge now. And then I, and then I look at a percentage of that and I dump that back in ads for my business. I'm right? glad so I I'm found you when you first started. Like, What's that? I'm glad I found you when you first started. The yes. Year. Yes. So I got yes, a great yes. Like now, now it's, now it's a little, little more. Now it's over five grand. But now oh, it's like, shit. now it's like a whole package where I include a lot of stuff. So the value is there, but, but that's not even the point. The point is that, okay, if I'm making five grand per client, I need to be spending at least. And, and so here's how I look at it. Here's how I look at it. If I'm spending five grand, if I'm making five grand per deal, I, because I understand the marketing and just numbers, I would be spending five grand a month on advertising. Yeah. Five grand. Yeah. I'd be spending five grand a month if 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 I was making five grand per deal. Whatever I was making, three grand per deal, two grand per deal. If I was making two grand per deal, I'd be spending two grand a month minimum. Because first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna capture a shitload of leads. I'm gonna capture a shit. So if I'm giving away a buyer guide or a seller guide or or getting people promoting a, a, a buying seminar and I'm spending that kind of money, you know how many leads I'm gonna get out of it? 
You know how many people in my local area, tens of thousands of views on my videos. It's going to get to the point though, David, where I can't handle all of those clients. If I spend- No, 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 no. it doesn't get to that point at all. It doesn't, (laughs) it doesn't get to that point at all, nor does one have to spend that much. I'm just speaking, I'm just speaking out. Like I'm speaking out loud. That's how I look at stuff. Where it's like, I'd be spending that much per deal because yes, I'd be getting a shitload of leads out of it. But if I just closed one client, if I got one deal out of it, I freaking break even. Yes, I didn't profit, but I actually did because hundreds of leads came out of it. I may not have closed two of them yet, but I've closed one and I broke even. Yeah, but the true. branding effect, the thousands of people, the tens of thousands of people that would have had that 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 I would have got to see my 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 content versus just posting it organically on your freaking LinkedIn. Yeah. Like shit, dude. That none of that's doing nothing for nobody. I'm sick of it. You know, it's like, dude, like start putting money towards your business, start marketing. Right. And that's why moving, moving, moving on 2023, pick your platform, whether it's TikTok, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, whatever you want to put out organic, cool, whatever, but also learn, learn how to run an ad. Also learn how to run an ad on that platform, right? Learn how to run an ad. And, and, and when you're running an ad, the click, because that's the million dollar question where that's, and that's what I tell people all the time. Where are you taking me when I click? So whether you're whether whether you have links in the description of your YouTube video, whether you're posting on your Facebook page organically, whatever the million dollar or you're running an ad, whatever the million dollar question is, where are you taking me when I click? And that's the landing page. So so that's why Karcher, there's a 14 day trial in the description. Like I use this software for my landing pages. You got to be taking people to a landing page to capture the lead, right? So so here again. Start at 10. Yeah, Whitney, I, I'm so sorry to go on that freaking tantrum. But but I get <laughs> I passionate it. about this shit because people need to pull up their pants and they need to freaking, they need they need to really, really, really roll up their sleeves and put some skin in the game, man. Build your business and 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 spend some money on on, on these ads. Because I truly believe this is where the attention is at. So so whenever you're running an ad in, in the beginning, like right now, it's, it's still the beginning of the day. It's morning time, right? Yeah. Whenever you're ca- running the ad morning time, um, you can always start at the next day at 6 a.m. So March, March, um, go March, March 5th, March 5th, or unless, yeah, I would, and this is normally on a brand new account, but you had, you ran a couple ads on this account before, right? Yeah. So you may, you may, you may get it approved sometime today. I would say maybe put it for maybe 5 p.m. Like what it's already, yeah, it's already past 10. So, so even if you had to go live at 5 p.m. or had to go live at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m., it might not be approved by that time. Um, that's why I'll always set it to go live the next day. I'll always okay. set it to go live the next day at 6 a.m. Yeah, Sunday morning, 6 a.m. People are freaking rolling out of bed, hungover, and freaking pull, and looking at their damn phone, right? Sure. So so March 5th, and then so yeah, what? And, and so here's another thing too. Like when it comes to the budget, yeah, just whatever you're making per deal, you guys take a percentage of that or take the whole damn amount. I, I'm crazy like that. I would take the whole damn amount and I would spend it on, on ads. But 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 the way you want to break it up though, when okay, so let's say you have a budget, let's say 300 a month. Let's say you have a budget. Okay, cool. This is how simple this could be, Whitney. So again, as one goes out there and organically posts and do and does all that stuff, I'm saying forget about all that and simply run an ad, a video preferably, and run run a video, run an ad every 15 days. That's it. Yep. So 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 this one can go for 15 days, for example. And then on day 16, your second video, your second ad goes live on day 16 from day 16 to day 30. That's it. Two videos per month. Two videos per month. That's it's all I'm posting. so much easier than That's every single day. <laughs> While the Whitney's are freaking trying to freaking shine on every damn platform and not getting shit from it. Like, like, like seriously, like, like it's like, dude. So, so again, Whatever the monthly is, I'm going to divide that by two. And 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 now I'm going to just run run that run that on 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 this one. So if if it was 300, I'd run this for for 10 bucks and I'd go for 15 days. So so yeah, March 5th to the to what to the when's the event? The, oh, the events of the, the 11th. Yeah. So t- I'm stopping it at 10 a.m. just to give time for them I to would, register. I would up that budget then. So then so then look, here's what I was planning on. I was planning on March 5th. But I'm just speaking in general. This is the, the, the just the overall strategy. I was thinking March 5th to the 20th because that's 15 days. And if the budget is 300 for somebody, then that would be 150 on this ad. It'd be 10 bucks a day for 15 days. There's 150. 
But if it's not 15 days, then maybe just condense it. I'd recommend spending the same 150 and just and just going in, just go lifetime. No, go lifetime. Forget about the daily budget. Just go oh. lifetime. Go lifetime, put 150 and then and then just just go fifth to the eleventh. Perfect. Which I don't even think you might need. I don't even think you I I would probably maybe go a hundred, but but again, like because that's six days. So it's like at six days, if I was spending what is that at six days? That's um actually well, that's not even a lot per day, really. Leave it at 150. Leave it at 150. Because yeah. even at at your yeah, like that that wouldn't be a lot. That's that's six dollars a day. So so yeah, you'd be good. Yeah, 150 is good. That's it. And then end date, March 11th, 10 a.m. Change out that. Actually, it does it start at 10? Or it ends at 10? The event starts at 1.30. The event starts at 1.30. I always just try to match the times. That's all. But um, we'll do 12. I'd make we'll it go 12. to, I'd, I'd make it go to, make it go to, um. make it go to 1.30 or make it go to 2. Like if anything, like, yeah, perfect. 12.30. Cool. Okay. Now, now we're going to scroll down. And now in the future, this is where your custom audiences would be. So click inside search existing audiences. We're not going to retarget anybody now, but this is where you would simply look for your audiences. That's it. And so if I was on ad number four, for example, I would be retargeting. I would be retargeting um, 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 maybe maybe intro video 15, 15 second. That, and, and that's why, that's why, that's why I encourage you to focus in on one person. Right. I'm focusing on the on the buyer. I'm focusing on on that one person. Right. Mm -hmm. Because as you build custom audiences, you want these custom audiences to all all be the same type of person. Right. Because like, trust me, like you're and so you would have all these different audiences of all these different buyer events, for example. Right. Rather than rather than having a seller guide or having other random stuff. So so but in the future, that's where you would see your audiences. And then now scroll down locations. Go to United States and just um, edit over the United States. Edit the United States and just put in um, put in that that location. You can you could for sure hit the X United States. Just hover over United States and exit out. So yeah, just always get rid of it and then just yeah. So this drop down, this right here, if you read them, they're all different. So go back to that real quick. Hit the drop down. And so, what do you want people living in or recently in? People yeah. traveling in. Right, they're all different. So, this part is very important. So, people living in or recently in this location, you're you're targeting buyers, right? So, I'm trying to find where I'm at. <laughs> well, you would know. You go search locations. You got to type in your address first. But the drop oh. down, the drop down is a big difference. So. So just type search locations, just type in, type in, type in the location. Search location. Oh, right there. Yeah. So, and what you're always looking for is the drop down. Always, always look for the drop down. And no, don't go to that one. It's not place. So X that one out again. Do it again. So you're you're going off of address, going off of address. So always, always hit the drop down. Perfect. And so 15 miles is the minimum. And then you can go up to, you can go up to 50, I think is the max. But is that, is that all you want is 15? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So scroll down age. You cannot change. Um, gender. You cannot change. Yeah. Scroll down. So now we're good there. So, so leave all that as is And then detailed targeting. You could, you could narrow it in, um, but at the same time, it's it's not really necessary because you're targeting only a 15 mile radius. So I don't want to I don't want to narrow in anything any further than that. Um, the time you put detail targeting keywords, different keywords, Zillow, like you could target different keywords, is normally when you're when you're running ads across a country or or you're running ads to multiple countries, right? Then then it'd be good to put in detail targeting, but not in a little 15 mile radius. You don't really it's not really necessary because Facebook's algorithm's so freaking good. The moment people start clicking. Facebook knows what type of person that is. So Facebook starts to show your ads to more people just like them in that 15 mile radius. So it's it's based off of, yeah, it's based off of algorithms, not necessarily a keyword that one puts in. The keyword helps, but not in this, it's not needed in this case. So advantage placement, scroll down. Advantage placement, the manual placement. Um, I'm going to have you go manual placement. Normally, 
and, and it's because of a video. Advantage plus placement is good sometimes with an image ad, but but not with video, not with video, because the video doesn't show on every platform and or on every part, like Messenger or audience network, different parts of the audience network, the video, and even in Facebook stories, Instagram, Instagram reels. It's like Facebook, if you go advantage plus placement, Facebook will show it on all these different parts of the platform when that part of the platform is not even meant for that long form video. Um, yeah. but they'll still run it. And, 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 and guess what money's still being spent, even if it's just a few pennies, it, it doesn't matter. Like when you're on a smaller budget here wise, have all the attention go to, to the most or have the ad go to, go to where the most attention is, is, is at. And that is when you go manual placement. So you'll go manual placement and then you'll uncheck, um, audience network, you'll uncheck messenger, scroll down. And then you'll you'll click on the little arrow to the left of feeds. So all these little arrows to the left, yeah, click on that so it opens up. Now what you're gonna and we're gonna do this on everyone going down. So all we're going with is Facebook feed, Instagram feed, um, Facebook Marketplace. That's it. Uncheck everything else. Everything else. Just keep going down. Keep going down. Uncheck everything. Open up. Open up stories and reels. Yeah, you gotta open it up and then just scroll down and just uncheck everything. So you're unchecking everything. And now, now we have $10 going straight to the news feed and that's it, right? Or whatever the budget is, whatever the budget is. Um, so I'm check all that and that's it. And then we'll click on next. That's That should be it for, um, for step. Actually, you know what? Real quick, real quick, scroll up and just name it. So what did we just do here? Our targeting, our budget, our, um, our, um, our, our placement, edit placement, right? So new buyers class, March 11th. And you don't have to put that because you already put that in, in the first title. So here, just simply, just simply go um, um, new buyers class, uh, and then put the budget. What what's the budget? The budget is what one fifty, one fifty dash, um, and then and then maybe the address dash edit placement, and that's it, right? New buyers class one fifty one fifty fifty mile, right there, perfect, perfect, and then and then um, dash edit placement or edit 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 place or whatever, right? That's it. So now when you look at that title, you could use, you, you know exactly what went on in that, in that ad. You don't have to click on anything next. That's it. So that's step two. That's step two. Now we go to the third and final step and we're, and we're, and we're, and we're good. So here, because we posted it on the business page first, now we just simply come down, scroll down. Yeah. You can go Instagram account right there, scroll down and now create ads. So you're going to hit that drop down and use existing posts. And a lot of a lot of times people ask me, why do I run it this way? Why 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 use existing posts when I can just create an ad and, and pull that file from my download folder, for example? The reason why I put it here is so it can live on publicly when the ad turns off. That's it. Versus not using existing post, you would have pulled the file from your download folder. And the moment that ad turns off, the ad is off, right? The or the post is off. It's nowhere to be found. Right. So I just look at it where it's like, dude, if I'm going to spend money on the freaking ad, it's like, I want, I want those thousands of views to show. I want all that engagement. I want that learn more button to be there. I want that thing to be public forever. I spent money on that damn post. Yeah. Right. That's how I look at it. So um, let it live forever. And that's um, posting on the page first. And then, so now, now you're good. So scroll back up. Actually, yeah, if you actually select post, I'm sorry, select post, select post. And then there's that post and then hit continue. And then and then scroll down and you're now going to put in our call to action button. And that's where your landing page link goes right there. Here it calls for the entire link. Unlike the custom audience, um, we didn't need it for that. So update post. Yeah, update post. And then your payment is the payment method. Do you have a card on file? I don't think it's the right card to feel. Yeah, all good. Awesome. So now the now the thank you page, you guys. We should we need to to look at this real quick. So now this thank you page is is optimized. Um. So now scroll. Now go back to Ads Manager and let's finalize that ad. Okay. Good. So X out of this. Yeah. Just hit done, and then just scroll down, and then hit hit next. Okay. Cool. There's the ad. Use existing post. Your link is there. Um. The payment. That should that should go away that error in the top right because you just you just did it so the link is there scroll down and you're good so make sure this is checked you always want to make sure a website events is checked the green dot is green and that's it hit publish and that's it you guys so that's your pixel setup you guys that's your custom audiences that's freaking A to Z 
Whitney. Now, yeah. now it just comes down to just just seeing green at the bottom right, making sure that 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 thing turns green in the bottom right. Um, and and from this point on, just just sticking to one avatar. Who is my avatar? And all I'm going to do now is create. You can stop share. All we're going to do now is create content to talk to that avatar. That's it. And 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 it's always to entice people. It's always a free download. It's either a free virus class. It's a free web class. It's a free webinar. It's a free download. You have to you have to you have to create some type of download or whether it's information on a listing or, or, or a buyer's list, click here to download our 2023 buyer's list. Right. And so, so whatever it is, there has to be some ethical bribe to get people to click. And, and then, so now all you're doing is creating content, speaking to that one person and on the back end, taking people to a simple landing page where they can opt in. And then once they opt in, that's when email automation needs to be in place. And that's a whole nother call. So any questions on that, Whitney at all whatsoever, we did a lot today. And we went through no. the full setup of an ad. So Perfect. awesome, you guys. So subscribe, hit the link below. I'm going to have Whitney's link to her Facebook page. Follow her, support her. Shout out to Whitney kicking ass in Washington. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.